Hey there, guys. It's been a while because I've been sick. Before that, my mother was sick, but she's perfectly fine, and I'm pretty much recovered as well. And it does feel good to be back. So what do we have here? We have the double integral from 0 to pi over 2 of arc tangent sine x times sine y over sine x dx dy. Which is quite strange, so it would pay off to use a strange looking strategy to actually begin the solution development. And I'm going to start off with the series expansion for arc tangent z which we know equals the sum over k from 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the k times z to the 2k plus 1 over 2k plus 1. Now in our case we have z equal to sine x sine y so I'll just plug this result into the integral. We have integral 0 to pi over 2 Integral 0 to pi over 2, 1 over sine x, terribly sorry about that, times the sum over k from 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the k over 2k plus 1 times sine to the 2k plus 1 of x times sine to the 2k plus 1 of y dx dy. And we do have some cancellation taking place because of this sine term, and one of them goes away. So we have the double integral from 0 to pi over 2 of the sum over k from 0 to infinity of what exactly? Let's see, we have sine, terribly, sorry about that, sine to the 2k of x. Terribly, sorry about that once more times sine to the 2k plus 1 of y over 2k plus 1 dx dy. Let's now switch up the order of the integration and summation operators to write this as the sum over k from 0 to infinity of the double integral from 0 to pi over 2, again terribly sorry about that, of sine to the 2k of x times sine to the 2k plus 1 of y over 2k plus 1 dx dy and yeah I'm forgetting something I'm forgetting this alternating term so negative 1 to the k over there and another negative 1 to the k term over there and speaking of this alternating term along with the 2k plus 1 term in the denominator. These two are independent of the variables with respect to which we're integrating. So let me just take them outside. So we have the sum over k from 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the k over 2k plus 1 times the double integral from 0 to pi over 2 of sine to the 2k of x times sine to the 2k plus 1 of y dx dy and there is something to notice here about our integrals we have one integral completely with respect to x and one integral completely with respect to y the reason for that being the integrand is just a product of two functions one purely a function of x and the other purely a function of y so that means I can write this as the sum over k from 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the k over 2k plus 1 times the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of sine to the 2k of x dx times the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of sine to the 2k terribly sorry about that plus 1 of y dy. In order to evaluate these two sine integrals, I'm going to invoke a very special function, and that is the beta function. So the beta function with complex arguments u and v is defined as twice the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of sine to the 2u minus 1 of theta times cosine to the 2v minus 1 of theta d theta. And in both our integrals, the cosine term is absent. 
So that means 2v minus 1 is equal to 0 in both cases. In other words, v here is equal to 1 half, which is dope. And what about for 2u minus 1 equal to 2k? In that case, we have u here equal to 2k plus 1 over 2. In other words, we have k plus 1 half. And 2u minus 1 equal to... 2k plus 1 implies that what do we have here we have 2k plus 2 so that means u here would equal k plus 1 okay cool so this implies that the target integral i we should have factors of one quarter because of two factors of one half one from each integral so i here equals a quarter of the sum over k from 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the k over 2k plus 1 times first we have the beta function evaluated at k plus 1 over 2 and 1 half and we also have the beta function evaluated at k plus 1 and 1 half and now recall the relationship between the beta and the gamma functions. So the beta function, again with complex arguments u and v, equals gamma u times gamma v over gamma u plus v. So this implies that the target integral i is one quarter of the sum over k from zero to infinity of negative 1 to the k over 2k plus 1 times, let's see, we have gamma of k plus 1 half times gamma of 1 half over gamma of k plus 1 half plus 1 half, which is just gamma k plus 1 anyway. And then we have gamma k plus 1 again up top. Then we have gamma 1 half again. Then we have gamma k plus 1 plus 1 half, which is going to be k plus 3 halves. Okay, cool. So we do have some cancellation taking place. Gamma 1 half is famously equal to root pi, so square that and you're left with just pi. So we have pi over 4 times the sum over k of negative 1 to the k over 2k plus 1 times, let's see, we have gamma one half plus k or k plus one half over gamma k plus three halves now i know what you're thinking we could apply the recursion formula for the gamma function but honestly that's not gonna give me anything to work with however i could expand by one and by one i mean gamma of one and the reason for that is that 1 plus 1 half is 1 third, so this actually looks like another beta function. It looks like the beta function evaluated at k plus 1 half and 1, which actually has a nice, another nice integral version of it. So the beta function of u and v equals the integral from 0 to 1 of x to the u minus 1 times 1 minus x to the v minus 1 dx. So in our case, we have u equal to k plus 1 half, and v here is going to be equal to 1. So this implies that the target integral is just pi over 4 times the sum over k of negative 1 to the k over 2k plus 1 times the integral from 0 to 1. Now, 1 minus x to the 1 minus 1 is just going to be 1 minus x to the 0, which is 1. And we're left with x to the k plus 1 half minus 1, which is, of course, k minus 1 half, last time I checked, dx. And this is a pretty straightforward integral. So we have pi over 4 times the sum over k of negative 1 to the k over 2k plus 1 times x to the k plus 1 half over k plus 1 half. Limits are 0 and 1. As x approaches 0, we get a 0. So we have pi quarters times the sum 
of negative 1 to the k over we can write this as 2k plus 1 whole thing squared if we just expand by 2 upstairs and downstairs. So I have a factor of 2 outside as well. So this gives us pi over 2 times a very special sum known as Catalan's constant, which I'll write up here. So the final result of our integral is quite gracefully equal to 1 half of pi times Catalan's constant. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Do drop me a follow on Instagram as well. Thank you. See you next time.